Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Blogheads. My name is Dorian Crutcher and I have a question for you. Um, when you think of blockchain, what's the first thing you think of? Probably Bitcoin and cryptocurrency, right? But what I want to do today is make an online store that runs on blockchain that's going to interact with my wallet to exchange near tokens for digital assets. Stick around and let's see how that goes. So we're on Nier's website again, Nier.org, um, and I'm going to open their documentation. Uh, I think I'm a developer, you know, as I'm developing this application. Yeah. So I know how to make my Nier wallet, I know how to access, I know how to like, get to my Nier wallet in like the browser and stuff, but I don't know how to actually pull tokens from it. Create a new account, lock shop. Oh my god, do phone recovery. Hey, I just met you. This is crazy. So here's my passcode, so call me maybe. Do not spam the resend code button. You will get a bunch of codes. Yay! Okay. Okay, so through all the effort and all the pain, now we have our blockshop.testnet. Um, our blockshop.testnet has a total balance of, uh, you know, almost 500 near tokens, zero stake, and the available balance. So. We're gonna see this number rise probably, but well, that's my goal because we're you know, buying stuff from this. Um, and we, all can we can also use this to uh, attach an account to, attach an inventory to, you know, whatever we want. I have no idea what escrow actually means. This is literally me figuring out for you guys. Use your browser's console to run commands to initialize, send, and get the balance of a custom token. Okay. Okay, this looks promising. Oh, okay, wait, we got something. Oh, look at that. Ooh. Oh, cool, neat. Okay, wait. Uh, sorry, I'm, I'm like, I'm, I'm nerdily excited. Okay. Ah, oh, it's, it feels great, like when, sorry, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna brag a bit. Like, it, it feels great when, like, you're, you're like, you know, your contract call just, when your lessons from earlier, your last project actually come into play in here, and that, that's awesome. It's like, I'm actually learning something. Hey, sync, send money. Then now if I check my balance again, with my handy dandy checking code. Near wallet, 48 seconds ago, succeeded. Oh, called transfer in contract. Oh, it gives you like a full activity log. That's actually kind of fun. Oh, and also thank you to uh, Ilya for, you know, kind of like pointing me in the right direction here um, with the new account and stuff. New state and send money. So that was, that was actually really helpful. This is the near protocol Discord. So um, I will put this in the description as well for you guys if you want to get started on the near, uh, you know, platform to make your own blockchain applications. Uh, so I found this to be really cool, really helpful. You can find me on it, and I'll be happy to work with you or, or something. It'd be great. It'd be fun. Create near app dash app. Dash dash front end is equal to React. Create new app. Yep. Um, and the project's name is Block Shop. And now we go through the process of creating the boilerplate. You know, basically after an app bar, we can actually replace this. Um, we can update this with the actual account name. Blockheads. I don't really care about adding a padding. <coughs> so now we have something that looks like, you know, something that looks like what we want. I can just throw in the name of the item, throw in the price, put it all into one array, and then that array will spit out everything for me. I want to make this like a magical item store. I'm going to call this like my Echo Pearl or something. And this will be my water shield. Like, wash your hands, guys. I'm going to call it the Wing of the Fallen. Option, options, dot CSS. There we go. Yep. What I want to add is the functionality to send money. Submit. Uh, I don't know what's happening. Okay. Uh. That was um documentation earlier, but doesn't export. The signature feature, right? Mm. 
Ah, okay. Send money. Wait, okay, so this is a function I was trying to figure out. But it's saying that I don't have the right access key, so how do you input in the correct access key? Uh, so there are two options. Use near API JS method, request sign in with the first parameter for a contract empty in order to redirect the user to the wallet requesting a full access key on their behalf. Okay. Oh! Wait, 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 wait. No, this is what I want. No, wait, this, this is what I want. This is good. We will provide access to all your tokens. Okay, okay, yes. Ah! I mean, okay, will it give me the same error? No error! Oh my gosh! No error! Oh shoot, wait, that's a receipt. No, that's a good thing. That's not an error. That's a receipt. And log Echo Pro Water Shield it belongs to this dev account. Ooh. Oh my god, wait, okay, wait. So I'm gonna go uh, near wallet, wallet.testnet. Oh, cool. Oh, look at that. Wait. Called method, delivered products, and contracts succeeded, transferred to, to blockshop.testnet. Uh, oh, I found that in a discussion circle. Oh my goodness. Dude, thank you, Aaron. I guess he ran into like, the same issue I did. And thank you, Mike. I had to put in a request sign in, the empty parameter to get the full access to my account. This is the argument to use to get the full access. Yes. Oh man, that's like the core function of my app. Hey everyone, we made it. We got to send our money. We got a receipt. Oh shoot, wait, that's a receipt from the blockchain telling us that um, the money was sent through. And I actually added some more features as well. This inventory box actually updates to show Jerry how many of each item he's already bought. So you can see that he bought 13 Echo Pearls, four Water Shields, and three Wings of the Fallen. I call it the Wing of the Fallen. We can add and remove items from our cart. We can add multiple items. <laughs> Buying two Wings of the Fallen and one Water Shield. So that's 220 new tokens. Submit, refresh the page. And five and five. So we actually have a full inventory. Alive, it's alive, it's alive. So we actually have a functioning block shop. That's really exciting. Thank you so much for joining me on this journey to create the Blockchap app. Stay tuned for a tutorial video to come so you can learn how you can make your own version of the Blockchap app. Connect to our community Discord so you can get involved with the community and build some really cool things. Um, like, subscribe, and comment below on what you would like to see in future videos. And keep growing, keep learning, and have a great day, guys. Mm -hmm.